drinking coffee because I am so tired. But anyway, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I really hope you're having a great day. Anyway, today's video, well, how to customize your MacBook using the Big Sur update, specifically how to customize it for the holidays and for Christmas. Okay, you really didn't need that explanation because literally it says that in the title of the video. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, first of all, apologies if you can hear the snow melting in the background. I can't control Mother Nature. <laughs> but anyway, the first step you have to do for this is obviously download the update for Big Sur if you don't have the update already. I downloaded it last night and it took me like, I don't know, five hours and then my computer was totally overheating and yeah, it just takes a really long time. So I would suggest downloading it when you don't really need to be using your computer. But anyway, once the update is downloaded, then you can start customizing. So this is what my desktop or whatever it's called looks like right now. But I want to make it Christmassy because I really just like having all of the holiday themed stuff. It puts me in the right mood and I don't know, it just makes it really, really happy. So to do this, first of all, you need to get two apps. If you want to do it like me, you technically don't need to get these apps if you don't want to do this. But I suggest getting these two apps. Where is the app store? The apps that you need, just type in the word widget into your thing. And then the two that you need are dash dot dash and color widgets. These apps are free, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. And then once you have the apps downloaded, then you can customize your widgets. To get to the widgets, you just click the part that says the date and the time and I only have one widget, which is the calendar. But let's make that holiday theme. So to do this, I'm gonna go on Pinterest and I'm just gonna type in Christmas aesthetic because that just is what works. And I'm gonna find a couple of pictures that I like that I think are kind of Christmassy and that are just cool. And then I'm just gonna drag them onto the desktop. I'll link in the description box all of the images that I use. So you can use those as well. Shout out to all of the owners who own these. You are cool and you are making my wallpaper and life feel very Christmassy, so thank you. I'm just gonna continue to drag some of these that I like. Um, oh, this is pretty. We're gonna go with the, the New York City one. And then once you have all the pictures you want, you're gonna open the Color Widgets app or dash dot dash, whichever one you wanna start with. I'm just gonna start with Color Widgets because I want to. I'm gonna start off with a calendar or a clock. I still haven't decided yet, so let's see. I really like this one because it's just simple. So you click on it, edit widget, and then I'm just gonna change it to this big calendar like this. So it's the 16th today. And then I don't really like the blue, so I want to go with the red because that's very holiday-ish. And then you're just going to change the background. So to do this, you just have to go into your Photos app and just drag the picture in that you want. So I already dragged it in, but you basically just click on the picture from the desktop and drop and drag it into the Photos app. <laughs> I literally forgot the name of it for a second. And then once it's in there, then you just click on your images. And there it is. And should we change the font of this? I think so. There we go, that's a lot better. And then you just click on set widget. And then you're just gonna click on the date and time, click on edit widgets, scroll down to color widgets, click on medium because that's the size that I just made of that widget drag it onto here and then click done and it transforms into the widget that we made a few seconds ago and then I'm just gonna delete the old calendar widget because that doesn't fit and we don't really need two calendars. So there we go, there is that widget and then I'm just gonna add the other widgets underneath it as like a little picture type thing because I think that's really cute. Open up the launch pad and find dot dash dot dash. I literally cannot say that at all. Then just click on add widget and you can name it whatever you want. Then you're gonna have to drag the pictures in again that you want. So I'm gonna go with this one, this one, this one, and this one. So all four of the other pictures. And then you're just gonna set the images. You can add a bunch of other things on it that you may want, but I don't wanna do that. Then let's create the widgets for all of the other ones. Let's see, this one. And then once all of the widgets are there, go back to the date and time. Scroll down to dash dot dash and drag in the widgets that you want. 
which is just all these four. And then you can edit the one that you want by just clicking on the widget and just going one. And there we go. And then I'm just gonna rearrange these a little bit. And then maybe put the calendar in the middle. That looks really cool. And there we go. Maybe I'll add some more in a little bit, but that's just how you make the widgets. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And now I'm gonna change the folder icons just on the desktop. I'm just gonna go into Google Chrome and type in Christmas PNG because you need to have it as a PNG for it to work better. I like the wreath, so I'm gonna drag that onto my desktop. And then I need two more for the other two folders that I have. What if I did the minion clip art? Is that a good idea? Probably not. We'll go with the Christmas tree. I like the sleigh. That's kind of fun. And there we go. Then basically you open up the image and then you hit edit, copy. Click on the folder whose icon you want to change. Click file, click get info, and then click on the little icon that's there already. And then hit edit and paste. And there we go, there is the sleigh for the college folder. Does that make any sense or have any correlation with college? No. And then do the same thing for all the other folders. And there we go, all the icons are Christmassy now. And then finally the last step is changing the desktop wallpaper because that really just brings it all together. And at the same time, I'm also gonna change like the Google Chrome background wallpaper too. So I'm just gonna open up Google. I always go to the same website to get all of my wallpapers from. It's called Candidly Carry, I think. She just makes really good wallpapers, which I like a lot. And I just, I found her on Pinterest and then I just started really using her wallpapers all the time. So I'm gonna go to the one that has these pine trees because I really like that one. I'm gonna open a new window to download it, drag this onto my desktop. Also really like this one that has kind of more of a blurry type thing. And I'm gonna download this one too and just drag it onto the desktop. Then I'm gonna start with the Google Chrome one. So basically she just just hit customize, upload from device, and I'm gonna make the Google Chrome one this one, I think, and just hit open. And there we go, that's super nice and pretty, and then there's it next to the widgets, very Christmassy. Also, I do know I need to adjust this one a little bit because the crop is kind of off. And then you just go to settings and desktop and screensaver, and for some reason I have like a thumbnail from a haul from last year, which I do not want to be my desktop wallpaper. Instead, I'm gonna go with this one and there we go, that just that just looks so peaceful and nice. It's very calm. I'm actually gonna move all of these folders over here because I think it looks a little bit neater to have the folders on this side and the widgets on this side. So perfect, that's how you customize. Cool. And that was it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed these like customization tricks, tips, tutorial. I really, I don't know. If you want to see more of these types of technology sort of holiday themed videos, let me know. And yeah, thanks again for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want to. Comment down below when your winter break starts. And subscribe to my channel, turn that notification bell on. Follow me on Instagram at Susan Carolyn. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>